Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Haven World Adventures and we're back in the horse lassoing event. Um, so I have 54 lassos left. Um, I have, as you can see, I've spent some of my clovers. Um, I actually am planning like a big lasso video that I've already recorded. I just haven't had a chance to like edit it yet. Um, but this is gonna go out before it. So it'll kind of be like a little jump back in time slightly when you get it, but you'll be seeing uh, the horses that I got and things like that. Um, some of them we might see during this. But uh, yeah, I have uh, 54 lassos left on this. I kind of just want to talk about this event a little bit now. Um, there's quite a lot of things about this event that I really wasn't that keen on. Um, for a start, the very hit and miss nature of the lassos, because in some of the events that we've had in the past, I feel like you, you know kind of what you're going to get based on the horses you have and the mechanics. Whereas with this, I found it very much like if my phone lags, or if I tried to do the lassos on my blue stacks on my computer, um, I quite often just entirely lost the lassos. I didn't get them at all. They just kind of completely missed the horse. And I had at that point sort of got the timing down to a reasonable amount. I mean, at this stage right now, I'm not interested in catching any of these horses because the horses that are in this particular one, I think there was only one that I didn't own, which I think was Alice, and even with that I could actually breed Alice. I have Red Hood, um, I have Snow, I don't even actually know if Red Hood's in this one, Red Hood might not be in this one. But I had Vida already, I had Beast already, so there's quite a few horses there that I just don't need. So to be honest I don't want any of these horses um, to be caught. There's a couple of times I did accidental tame agains as well. I would have preferred if they'd moved that button because I just feel like where that button was, it was very easy to accidentally sometimes uh, try and double tame. And then obviously that uses double the lassos. So for me, I find that I kind of struggled with this event. And um, obviously when I do my big massive lasso video, um, which I hopefully will post a little bit after um, this one, maybe, um, is just purely the fact that I didn't have any hope, really, of getting Queen um, at all. And um, I, I just wasn't going to get to 10,000 as much as I might try. <laughs> Even if you took in my missed lassos into account, I don't think I was going to get Queen, and I've been doing this every single day. Um, you just got yourself a sweet racing horse. Okay, well we did. We'll go back to the event because I'm not really. I'm at the moment. I'm just trying to actually get these ones. Uh, but you can see here, Queen needed ten thousand. In past events, being asked for ten thousand felt very, very possible. In this one, it did not because once I had uh, done a couple of days worth of this, I realized very quickly that I wasn't going to get it at all. Okay, there's another capture there. I already have a tier 3 Wicked Stepmother, but we're going to go for the, the tame. The reason I go for the catching of the horse, I try and get the rarer ones because it'll give me more clovers. And then in terms of taming, because even if I fail the tame, I get some clovers, as you can see. And then letting go also gives me clovers. So I have been trying to make sure that I've been doing all of those things. Um, the horses that seemed to be best were the tier 3 constellations. Now, as much as I have said, you know, I didn't really like the fact that the um, the horses only gave me um, a certain amount that was going to limit me and probably make it possible not to get Queen. Um, the one thing I will say is we got like loads of Constellation horses from this event, so I don't feel too bothered about not getting Queen. Um, Plus, I'm not that keen on Queen as a as a design. Um, I prefer some of the other horses, um, so I decided to go for different ones uh, with my points. And the constellation horses were really nice to get. Um, I especially like Gemini. Gemini is exceptionally pretty. So I'm not too bothered um, about not getting them. I mean, I'd be curious to know like, what you guys had aimed for, um, what you got in the end, did you actually get what you had planned on, did you get Queen, and if you did get Queen, what was your kind of your game plan, did you specifically go for very particular horses, 
um, that had a certain amount of points that they would give you. Did you have to buy more lassos? Um, sort of those kinds of things, because if a, an event like this rolls around again, I do want to be prepared for it, um, because I feel like it took me the first day or two missing lassos to kind of have any idea what was going on. So um, it did take me a little while to adjust to this event. That's why I don't think I've been that keen on it because it hasn't been the easiest event around here to work on. I don't think today that I'm going to get enough for anything else um, out of uh, the rewards. And even if I took uh, into account what I get today and what I had before I bought some horses as rewards, I know that I wouldn't get uh, get that horse. I know that um, some people did go ahead and actually buy lassos because it was worthwhile um, considering all the constellations that some people were missing and then current on top of it. So in that regards, I think compared to some events where maybe you use only one exclusive horse up for grabs, this one, there was a lot of horses. And I did like that aspect to it. Pasofino again. I keep landing on this horse. So if I'm lucky, I think I probably I have enough to get a tack pace. I don't know if I'll get enough to get another tack pace. Nice if I did. Don't know if I will. Right, we'll let you go as well. I think I've missed the Black Forest horse a couple of times whenever it was there, it is there. If I manage to get it all well and good, but I'm not gonna go too out of my road. I'm still trying to focus on these exclusives at the back. It's give me a bit more chance. This is a horse that I already had the puzzle recipe for, um, but I'd actually never bred the horse, so this saved me actually having to breed the tier one, which was nice. I'm still working on my uh, snows. I'm stuck on tier two with snows. I cannot get a tier three. And um, I've also been stuck with uh, a couple of my other horses. I still haven't got out of the Halloween horses. Still haven't got some of the tier threes from them. They've been particularly tricky. So I have been finding recently that it's been very hard to breed um, higher tiers. I usually, tier one and two aren't a problem, but now that I'm just recently, I find the tier three and tier four much, much harder than usual. So, because I try to avoid spending diamonds when I absolutely can, you know, unless it's like really super necessary. They have two horses in here at the minute and they both look nearly identical. So, have not got to tier 4 snow quite yet. I think I'm way off that for the moment. Right, we'll just, that one can go free. Now, I want to have a quick look here. So the current horses that are here for the last day are Snow, Beast, Alice, Exclusive Vida, Wicked Stepmother, Black Forest, Leptons on a Gypsy Boner, Sipper Punch, Pershawn, American Salad Bread, which looks very much like the National Show, Up, Tiggy, Pasofino, Barbant, Warlander, and Marsh Tacky, and then Golden. I've already got Golden. I actually have not bothered to breed Golden yet. I don't think I've, I've bred... I think I've maybe bred Golden once. Yeah, I think I've bred Golden once. I actually really do like this horse, um, but I haven't done anything with it. Uh, there's just been so many other horses to work with. It's been insane. I mean, like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there's been so many new horses that it is nearly impossible right now to keep up with them all. At least, that's how I feel. I'm just like, okay, I've missed two in a row there. Come on. There we go. We've got weird stamina. Um, yeah, no, I feel like I have just had so many horses that there isn't the time to like focus on a particular horse and get it up to tier three or four, depending on what's available. And then now that the Pure Breed Society happens so quickly, it's not like a thing that lasts over a month, a month it's like a couple of days. You have to be really on it with it, and I've really been finding now I really struggle to get the gems because um, quite a lot of the tier... Uh, four certs I now have and because I have those tier four certs I cannot you know do the gems so then I can't get the rare gems and it's the same thing with a lot of the lower certs as well so quite often now I'm finding that I don't have red gems green is usually not so much of a problem but green um, you know you get out of the mine quite a lot I find but now blue and red gems can't really land them at all 
or get them out of the Purebreed Society at the moment. Really struggled with that. Don't know what tack item I'm gonna buy. Because I'm pretty sure I should, if I'm lucky enough, get to a thousand points here. But I'm not quite sure which one we will go for. With that. Right, let me see. Um, well, I don't know if I'll try a movie for the Black Forest. I'll maybe try. Oh, okay, that was way too early. What I'll maybe do is. Didn't mean to land on the Marsh Tacky. I already have Marsh Tacky. Um, what I'll maybe do is if I get to a thousand and I still have some left over, we'll try and get uh, the uh, Black Forest horse because I never have managed to breed that horse. It's one particular one that I've never had any luck with. So I wouldn't mind getting it. There's a couple of horses that I've had sitting at tier 3 for a really long time that I actually spent the time getting to tier 4 recently, which was nice. Because um, it meant I could sell a bunch of them and get the diamonds off the tier 3s. I don't need them anymore. That's something I kind of want to do with my constellation horses. Constellation horses take like 2 days to breed normally, but the upside is you can instantly sell them for diamonds. But like farming other horses like the Mustangs or the Andalusians would still be better because you can turn them over faster than you can with all the other ones. Tame you as well. Right, come on. I want you just I don't want you to like be tamed. I want you to go free. I need the points. And it yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. When that kind of froze for a second, I was like, it's gonna give me the horse, and I don't want the horse. I have like three of these tiggies. Right. Don't be tamed. Go free! I'm so close to a thousand points. <laughs> then I can actually get some tag, which would be nice for once. Right, uh, let go. Yep. Right, now. I think we could try a couple of uh, attempts. Oh, well, that would have been close there. I thought I was going to get the black force for like a split second. Alright, don't work. I think we're good. I think we're going to get enough that we can get the tack. And uh, hopefully get the black force. So I think now I will start aiming for the black force horse. And see if we manage it. Right, okay, let's see. We need the Black Forest horse. Come here. Who are you? There you are. Oh, we actually got it first time. Okay. Now, the question is can we tame it? Well, I have like 29% on this horse. Surely, surely we should be able to get this horse with 29%. Come on. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna try it again. I know I don't, I don't normally do that on purpose. Every time I've done that previously has been by accident, but I'm gonna try it on purpose this time. Come on. <sighs> Seriously? Nah, 45%. I use four. This is like the set this is like the second to last day, so I'm not really that bothered at this point. I've got the horses that I Are you kidding me? Right, we're letting it go free. We're gonna try and get it again with the 14 losses. This is gonna be when we miss it every single time. We have 19 999 clovers, so. Okay, I was about to go for the Wicked Stepmother. I completely missed that horse. Come here. Come on. You are bound to it. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. This is not going to go so well. I have a bad feeling right now. <gasps> missed it three times in a row. No, I should have just stayed and tried to damn it. It knows it It wants it. it like I want to catch it. There we go. Now it's just like, nah, not happening. Right, team. You have fifty-three percent chance. Like, come on, seriously. Come on. There we go. We got it. Okay, that was actually kind of like the last horse that I really, really wanted with this. Um, so rewards. I want to go down to this stuff here. Um, I can get two pieces. So, spring saddle, summer saddle. I already have those. Oh, I can buy it. Yeah. I'm gonna go with these. Sure, you want to buy spring boots? Yeah. 
Okay, got spring boots. And then the spring saddle. Yeah. What else do we have down here that I don't already have? Is there anything there that I kind of want? So I already have these two things, so I'm not really bothered about those. I mean, we have 400 left. So... Yeah, maybe if I get a little bit more in points, possibly for the end of the event, I might get something else. But really, overall, um, I'm quite happy with what we got. I mean, I'll show you as quickly my Constellation collection at this point, because I never thought it would happen the way that it has happened, so... <laughs> This game freezes so many times, honestly. Okay, so over the last few weeks and months, we've had a lot of events that have given us Constellation Horses. So, in terms of Constellation 1, I have every single Tier 1 except Scorpio. But every other horse there I have, so I'm quite pleased about that. Uh, but yeah, Scorpio is the only one that we are missing and we do not have from this set. And then... In terms of Constellation 2, we also have every single Tier 1 except Taurus. Taurus is one that we don't have. It wasn't offered in the event, uh, just the same as in the Constellation 2 with uh, the other one being missing. And then with the Constellation 3, which was the one that we were had during the Lasso events, and there was, uh, I think it was 6 the first time and 6 in the second uh, bunch, I got every single one. Which I did not expect um, at all. It did take pretty much all of my lassos to get these. You will see that whenever I do that really long lasso video that I have. Um, but yeah, no, I was really, really pleased. The only one that I've gone on to breed tier two is Gemini um, three. I don't think I've got a tier three of it yet. No, no, I'm still working on that. But yeah, I really, really like that horse. is exceptionally pretty. This is a tier 2 clover foal um, that I bred because I did get clover was one of the horses that I chose as a reward from the event. Um, so I'm going to try breeding a tier 3 with this horse. I just needed this female because uh, I had two colts that were bred and I had no female clover. So now I have both of those. I'm going to try uh, breeding a tier 3. Okay, there is both of my tier 2 clovers. I've got a 12% chance on a tier 3. Probably won't get it, but we can try. I do have the opportunity, I think, to increase my chances here, so that's as good as they can be, but 17% chance. I've failed on a much larger chances recently, so yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think that was going to happen. So that's another tier 2 clover, unfortunately. Anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the horse lassoing event in Horse Haven, both the positives and the negatives. Maybe there's something you're thinking of that I hadn't mentioned. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And of course, uh, I will have that other sort of like mass horse lassoing event video I'd hopefully pretty soon for you guys. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day and bye bye.